Okay guys, pretty much today, I have to spend all of my time studying. I have exactly two days left until my exam and I really gotta get prepared. So let's get straight to it and I'm gonna walk you along my process on how I study right before the exam. So follow along, let's go. Okay, so we have exactly 48 hours to get the whole chapter understood in order to take this exam. Now, this is my process on how you do this. Whatever exam that you got, typically the professor, teacher, whatever, gives you a review, right? Now let's say that they don't give you a review, that's fine. Figure out or ask them what the heck the material is about. It's gonna, they're probably gonna say, all right, chapter this, chapter this, or chapter this, right? The majority of the time, it's probably gonna be about four to six chapters or four to six topics, give or take. So I'm, I'm gonna give you an example of what I gotta do. Okay, this is for the logic class I hate so much. So I have the topics of parsing. Parsing, right? That's one. And then truth tables. Symbolization. And derivations. Apologize for my handwriting, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not the best. Anyway, so pretty much, I gotta nail down these four topics within 24 hours. It's, I mean, I'm sorry, within 48 hours. It should be really easy. So the first day is always gonna be the hardest day. Basically, what you need to do and what I'm gonna do is basically review my notes that I took for once I actually take notes and figure out what the hell is going on with this. If you don't know what's going on, that's okay because that's why you make friends. You make friends in the class, you ask for their notes. If you don't have any friends, um, you better buckle up and figure something out. Like look at the chapter, look at the book, figure out the textbook, YouTube videos, it's your best friend. You can learn anything on there. So figure that stuff out. Now, the issue that always, that used to happen to me, but I fixed, but what other people go through is that they don't know how to split up their time wisely. So. What you could do is you could spend like eight hours uh, figuring out these in two, in two hour segments. However, I feel like that's gonna burn you out. So what I would do is spend about 30 minutes on each section and then take a little, uh, I don't know what that is, but take, take a little break between each so you can just refresh your mind. And within that break is very crucial. You can one, either one, take a power nap or two, eat something, or three, do something that you wanna do. Because the whole point of this is to get your mind off of the subject so you can get a chance to reboot your mind again. So that's pretty much what, what, what we're gonna do today for the first day. And the second day is gonna be actually a lot easier. So once you figured out those four things, right? Or six or whatever, if it's six, just split up your times a little differently, however you think makes the most sense to you. If there were six things, then I would probably do like a longer study session instead of a shorter one and do one hour, no, I'm sorry, like 25 minutes each. That's probably what I would do if it was like six things. But if you could, if you could combine all the content on whatever exam you got into four quadrants, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, what you could do is just take like two, if it's like six, right? You can take two of the easy ones, combine them into one, and then you got four. It, it, that's what I would do. But um, anyway, so the first day is done. That's what you gotta do. Figure out, first day is dedicated to figuring out what is going on on the exam. And this isn't to master the content that you're studying, but to get a general idea of what's happening. The second day, however, is whenever you review slash test yourself. Once you do this, it's pretty much going to um, make what you studied the previous day more concrete and it's gonna stick into your head. What really helps the most is really repetition. I mean, that's really it. You don't even have to, okay, so you don't even have to fully understand what's going on. It, it, helps, it helps a lot, but it also depends on your exam. What typically happens for me, and this is for classes that I do not care about, is I just wait till like three to two days before the exam and I just study it uh, with the previous technique of like um, breaking my day up into figuring out what the heck's going on. Second day, I just try to memorize everything and that's really it. 
So if you want to get that grade that you want, or if you want to at least pass, and that's what I do, that's what I try my best to do, just do this. It'll work every single time. I cannot guarantee it, but I vouch for it. So do this, review or test yourself over the topic multiple times a day. Do a Quizlet, write it out if you have to. I find that if you write it out, you'll most likely remember it because there's a muscle memory tied to it. And also, whenever you are doing this within the one to two time span, um, I would probably chew some gum. I learned from my psychology professor that if you chew gum while you study, it creates some type of muscle memory in your head and then you remember things a lot better. I don't know how that works, but I've been doing it and it works for me every single time. I don't know how it works, but I guess if you associate chewing, like doing a physical action with trying to memorize something, it kind of elicits some type of behavior in your head. I have no idea. I, that's just my hunch on what happens, but chew gum while you study and while you review and test yourself throughout the second day and then you'll get it. So the key things to remember, first day, familiarize yourself with all the content that's going on. Second day, you repeatedly test yourself over and over again because it's just gonna stick to your head like glue. What gets material to stick is how many times you do it. It's all about consistency. If you stay consistent throughout these two days, you will pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that you take into consideration like my techniques and what I did. Um, it helps me and I tell a lot of people to do the same and it helps them too. So and maybe it might help you guys out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Happy studying.